Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to quickly model some vault. Okay, so so these are some examples. Okay, so let's let's do it. So uh, first, let's create a new adaptive family. So place four adaptive point. Make them adaptive and then connect um, connect these points. So whoops sorry wrong one spline reference line spline reference line Spline, reference line, and spline, reference line. Okay, so now place point, a point, draw on face, and SM, pick the midpoint. Okay, so now from this midpoint, so I'm going to draw on word plan and place, so use the horizontal word plan. So Use your uh, use the tab key. So tab. Oh, sorry. Set word plan. Tab, tab, and place it. Oops. So if if you didn't if you don't say a warning, Control Z. Uh, let's do it again. Tab, tab, and place it on the point. You should see this warning. Okay. So another one. Tab, place it. And okay, so now select this one, two, oops, one, two, three, and four points, and create a height parameter. Okay, so now if I go to family types, so let's type, so for example, uh, two meter. Apply. So looks like some of them we need just need to rotate the this point by 180 degree okay so let me just drag uh, make them closer close to each other roughly create a, a square or rectangle rectangular shape so roughly like this so now Place a, a full point. So use a draw on word plan again. So pick this horizontal word plan and place it on this uh, adaptive point. So this time you won't see a warning because you are placing on adaptive points. Okay. So now select the four of the new new placed um, points. So one, control, two, three, and four. So offset them by one millimeter. Okay, so now we can create some curve. So select these two, three, create a, a spline, reference line. One, two, three, spline, reference line. One, two, three, spline, Reference line. One, two, three. Spline. Reference line. So one, two, three. Spline. Reference line. One, two, three. Spline. Reference line. One, two, three. Spline. Reference line. And one, two, three. Spline. Reference line. Um, okay. So. Because these these uh, uh, curves are splines, not um, not arc, so it's probably uh, they are probably not uh, very accurate, not uh, exactly the same to those uh, Gothic um, arc, but I think they are close enough. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so now. 
we just need to create some uh, form so we need to create some, some form so select this one so these two together with this one and then also control select these two together with this one and create a form okay and once again once again so this this one two and the three oops oh, sorry one two three four five and six and create a form so now these two we just need to join them okay so now we uh, we need to hide uh, we're trying to hide some of the face okay but you can't just uh, like eh or hh uh, and also there's if, if you if you uncheck this visible you will uh, hide the whole thing okay the whole thing so you can't do it this way so i just um figure out <laughs> so you can do it this way so use divided surface i'll just make it make divided surface so just leave it like this so we can have some pattern but in the project we can just hide the, the pattern okay so once again tab tab and divide surface tab tab divide surface tab tab device surface tab tab okay so divide surface so now that's it so now we can go to a, uh, let's create a project and I'll quickly um, let's just do some reference plans okay so uh, maybe uh, I'm not sure um, Let's just create some. Um, you can have different, different uh, width, multiple, maybe something like this, and maybe you can create a wider. Um, okay, so maybe uh, hang on. <laughs> Let me try this. Okay, I'll copy another one like this. Okay, so let's place some fam uh, of these this family in in on these reference plans. Okay, so load this. So now let's play place. So one, two, three, four. 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 Let's have a look. Go to three D view. So you you can still see these uh, the grids. So what we can do is VV go um, on the mass. So you can check this one and then uncheck the uncheck the grid lines okay that's it so of course you can uh, place some uh, walls or columns um, and then you can place them on top of that so let let's just uh, place some more so cs one two three four one two three one two three four one two three four and one two three and four and um and they they don't even need to be rectangular so you can if you um i think uh, sometimes you you might have in regular shape so let's try so for example i'll just roughly do it um, maybe i'll just do it like this um, and maybe 
something like this. Okay, so let's have a look. And yep, it will they will match. Okay, so that's it. So this is a very simple um, and also let me select select them all SA. So we have this height. So for example, I'll change the height 1.5 meter. And if I change it to change them to three meter high, oh that's okay. Yeah. I think Oh, these ones, um, yes, there's some, like, some problem, oh, yeah, or I change them to four, problem solved, <laughs> anyway, so this is very quick exercise about creating some vault and you can use this for some uh, schematic or existing uh, cathedral buildings <laughs> okay so that's it um, i'll see you tomorrow bye